Hello everyone, my name's Bottle Top Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> that one's a close zoom in. We are heading out towards our little tree farming area that we set up a while back, really, really early on in the, uh, in the series itself. I had plans to come out here and make sort of a farm for trees, and what I want to do has changed a little bit. I don't necessarily want to make an automatic tree farm, but something a little bit more manual. And so I have my blocks of iron and the beacon here. We're going to set up a beacon and do a little bit of digging. Because what I think I want to do is open up... Hmm, do we have a view of it here? We do. I want to open up this area down here. So we've got a nice, large, naturally spawned cave here. We're going to open that up and make a huge room that is completely spawn proofed and also a safe little spot that we can grow trees any time of the day or night and, and grind away without having to worry about mobs. Plus, it also gives us access to this little walkway here to eventually put down a rail system underneath that follows this line and brings all the wood out to a wood storage shed out in this way or a wood processing plant. I think we mentioned this already before, but something on the side here that handles the wood and uh, from there it gets delivered around to different areas. So, we're going to set up a beacon <laughs> and... Uh, the beauty of Elytra. I can fly over there now. It's so satisfying. And so is that. But what I might do is maybe leave this area. We might just do a pleasant little uh, log cabin build another day and sort of focus on the main farm area itself. I happen to be getting my booster shot for my vaccine tomorrow. So I'm going to try and make this episode a little bit quicker, just in preparation in case I... <laughs> feel a little bit unwell. So we're going to do something nice and simple that I've wanted to do for a while, set ourselves up so that we can grind some materials when we need to, and then that way we're going to have plenty of wood for some future projects. Righto. Well, I'm going to uh, risk going down here and then light it up, I think. And once that's lit up, I'll pop a hole through the ceiling for my beacon and we'll get to digging out. And there we go. Nice. So, now with a beacon set up, I need to go get myself a little bit of iron just to uh, fire it up. And I'm going to clear this area out a little bit. We might do it in a short-ish time lapse. And I want to kind of make some different layers for different types of trees. We're going to make use of the larger open area in here for some of the larger trees like jungle and spruce. But then I also want to have some shorter areas around that are dug out with platforms in between. And this area kind of wants to be a little bit industrial feeling. At least that's what I'm going to go for. Something a little bit different than the uh, style we have over that way because I want it to feel like a place of work tucked away from the rest of the world. So let me go grab that iron, we'll jump into a quick time lapse, and then we'll pop in afterwards and start to set up the functionality of this tree farming area. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. And so, after a little bit of time, I have myself a decent sized area dug out. Now, I've left things a little bit loosey-goosey, <laughs> as it were, because I'm still not quite sure exactly how I want to set this up. But what I'm thinking is I want to use this lower section here for my giant spruce trees, and also for some jungle trees down here. And I want to set things up in, like, bays. Bays for each kind of tree type. So possibly the spruce trees, jungle trees, maybe even the blue and red nether trees over here. And then staggered up the side, I want to make little platforms that contain the shorter trees. That way we can sort of decide what piece of timber that we want, what kind of wood, and go over to that area. We'll have small stocks of bone meal set up, ready to go to grow the trees and mine what we need. So I've collected a lot of materials over here. Lots and lots of stone, as well as a couple of these starting to fill up. But I want to use some of that stone to create a, a room of 
stone bricks and other bits and pieces. So we are going to decorate this. But first of all, I kind of want to go through and show you guys my idea for the kind of setup that I want. So I actually, I think I might need to go get a couple of materials. I'll be right back. All right. So now that I've gone and grabbed a few glowstone, I want to show you guys the idea that I have. I want to set most of this up in a safe spawn proof way that separates the different areas nicely and feels a little bit more uh, intentional rather than organic. Obviously we're in a cave which we should be able to do something and try and blend it in a little bit, keep some of the stuff open I'm sure. But at the same time, this wants to feel a little bit industrial. So what I'm thinking, and I probably need to grab some dirt because we're going to be growing it on dirt, obviously. Uh, I've got a bit here. That's good. So if we come down here, this isn't necessarily going to be the final spot, but one, two, three, four, five, we'll go here. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six by six. So something like that, because with a six by six, with the giant spruce trees, I can grow one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So a total of nine, and they can usually grow directly next to each other. In another bay, if I want to do jungle trees, I can do them in the corners, and there should be just enough room in between. We'll see. <laughs> it might need to be a seven by a seven for the jungle trees, but there should be just enough room in between to grow those and allow for the branches to spread out. And then also for dark oak trees, although I think I can grow them together, it does sometimes glitch a little bit, so I can do the same thing. I can grow them on the corners and have plenty of room around here for, uh, for growing all sorts of trees. And then we'll stagger some up this edge here for acacia, for oak, and for birch. And the oak and birch, I should be able to grow right next to each other in a big cube almost. And with the oak, I'll put a ceiling over the top so that it doesn't grow large trees through it. That way, we should get a good slab of the wood type that we want. And I can just come through with uh, my netherite axe and choppy choppy, as the lumberjack skin sort of hints at. So, with a setup like that, I then want to have lighting for each of the areas, because obviously we need light. And then I'm going to surround them with these half slabs and we'll do some patterns on the floor and walkways and everything like that to make it look a little bit nicer a little bit more aesthetic i don't have enough of those yep da -da -da. and that way we have these semi-raised platforms uh spread around the the tree felling area the tree farm to for one be a very quick indication of what we want to grow here two we can leave uh saplings there so that whenever we're in a roundabout area close by some of them should grow so in a pinch if we want to come back we can have some ready and then i also want to add probably a double chest i'll just use this dirt for example a double chest right on uh, the central point of these sections and we can fill that with a bunch of bone meal and the sapling types that we want to keep plus any leaves or anything that we gathered or even just some spare materials from there I want to make something up underneath that walkway and we'll have a tree or a wood loading section that sends those away down on a cart just for a bit of fun and that'll take it over to a future building out that way. So yes, although I don't sound it, I am sort of getting my butt kicked a little bit by this vaccine booster and uh, as such, I'm going to take it a little easy and just go into building mode again, try and get this whole place built up and then hopefully I can pop back in once I'm feeling a little bit better, finish up filming the episode, and that's sort of why this episode's going to be a little bit late. I hope you guys understand, and I hope you guys enjoy dropping back into a time lapse of setting this whole place up a little bit more uh, finalized, and then we'll come back in at the end of the episode and see, see how it works, I suppose. <laughs> we'll try and mine some wood. All right, guys, enjoy the time lapse. I'll see you in a sec.
and welcome back in folks. I said to myself at the start of this that I was going to do a nice easy project, but this turned out to be a lot bigger than I expected. That being said, we have ourselves a decent little area for farming trees. Now, some of you may already notice I don't have an area set up for acacia trees. That's because personally, I don't use it that much. And if I was going to, I'm pretty sure I could add an extra room onto here somewhere or uh, just, just go out to a savannah and, and get a heap of it. But with that being said, there are a few things that we need to do. One is, uh, get a little bit more of the jungle saplings. I went out in the middle of building this to grab some, but unfortunately the drop rate was terrible. And by the time <laughs> I had mined out a couple of trees, uh, I had none left. As you can see on the ground here, next to each station, I've put a version of the wood type down on the ground, except maybe the top here. Yeah. I haven't done it next to the dark oak and I may even change this up a little bit over time because I can't grow these dark oak trees this close to the wall. I need to have a little bit more space. So yeah, bit of trial and error, but I don't know whether you guys can hear it in my voice. I've been a little unwell the last few days and I've been taking it easy. So <laughs> I sort of dug into this and just spent the time quietly working away. Overall, including the digging out and then rebuilding, this took me about five hours. So not too bad, but also a pretty decent amount of time, but I'm happy with it. I ended up blocking off these sides so that you can still see parts of the caves further out, but the, uh, the iron bars do make it one spawn proof and also brings it into a uh, feel like more of a room than it was before. And we've got plenty of height in here for growing trees, growing the jungle trees should be able to grow up there as well. And all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. I have a slab of obsidian above the oak trees here, and that pretty much just guarantees that we don't have the giant ones growing up through. And so I can, uh, I can place the oak trees down in a three by 10 formation. And uh, that way I can grow 30 trees and that should get me a good amount of oak in one quick go. I've left this stuff here because what we're gonna do in another episode down the line is uh, probably open up something just here, even underneath the stairs and uh, create that station for loading up probably shulker boxes worth of the wood and sending it down the line on a rail out to our wood processing plant down there. So there will be a little bit of work tidying all of this up, probably tidying up the roof a little bit more as well and turning this into a proper walkway, much like the, uh, the bridge out there. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. We have the, uh, the logs and the saplings and everything for each tree type in the area where we mine them, like so. But yes, like I said, we do need to go get some of the jungle. And that's where the old beacon was. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, actually my inventory's not too bad, but I'm gonna put this stuff away. We're gonna go fly out to the jungle that is just over that direction. We haven't actually really explored it that much. So it'll be nice to have a look around, see whether we get lucky and maybe find a jungle temple or something. If not, we'll be able to grab a few saplings. I may as well take these shears with me in case we want to get a few more vines. And then we should be able to bring it back in here, test that it does grow <laughs> within this area, which I think it should, but we'll just double check and make sure. And then uh, this whole place can probably be called complete. A nice little project. All right, I think I'm going to go sleep this rain away if it is nighttime, but if not, uh, yeah, okay. I'll be back once it stops raining. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Had to wait until night time for that one. So we're going to head over towards the jungle over there and uh, have a little bit of an explore while also making sure we grab a handful of saplings. There's definitely a fair bit of bamboo over there and I am interested in finding out whether or not this jungle has a jungle temple in there as well. A very interesting little aquifer here. That's kind of cool actually. Ooh, and we have pandas. They are quite close to the base. So if we ever wanted pandas around the city, it wouldn't be too hard to get them there. That's nice. Cool. But not exactly why we're here. It looks like this actually goes out into a sparse jungle, which is also nice, but it's really not that big. Ooh, a little bit of fire going up here. Hmm. So if that's the case, or quite a few birds as well, that's cool. If that's the case, we might go over this direction because I do believe it continues over this way. Yes. 
and it'd actually be nice to head out this way as well. In fact, let's do a little bit of random exploring, because I went this direction when I was searching for a saddle, and I do know that there was a nice Badlands biome or a mesa, and I also want to know if there's a desert nearby, because I haven't seen a desert yet, and uh, it would be nice to have a bunch of sand if we ever need it. So let's head out this way. Ooh, that's also good to note. In fact, that's probably almost perfect for a guardian farm. Oh, there's another one right there as well. Huh. Both of those have a decent amount of water around them, but that one is absolutely stunning. Either I could drain this if I felt like it, or we could quite comfortably just make a nice area up in the top and an efficient farm through that one. Cool. Okay, good to know. It's also a nice way to show you guys uh, the land a little bit. Go for a bit of a fly around. I seem to remember this ocean being ridiculously large. <laughs> so uh, this could take a little while to get across. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a very interesting piece of generation. Damn. I love 1.18. Ooh, there's another ocean monument. And if I remember correctly, just over this bit of uh, ocean, there was something. I swear it. <laughs> Maybe I'm misremembering, though. Another ocean monument. Another ocean monument. And by the way that the chunks are loading, it feels like this is actually somewhere I've never been before. Hmm. I kind of at least want to see what's on the other side. And then uh, we might start heading back. <laughs> Not so much luck with it. Another... What is with the amount of ocean monuments? And, whoa, one there, one there, and one there. Huh, interesting. Well, it looks like this is the other side. Definitely not the uh, area that I was thinking it was. It's probably, honestly, completely the other direction. But we may as well have a quick look around here just to see what we've got. A nice uh, pillager outpost, which is always good to know the location of. In fact, I'm just going to quickly take a screenshot, but uh, we are 7,000 blocks out. I think it's probably time to head home. All right, back we go. Another ocean monument. <laughs> uh, ooh. Yeah, I may as well screenshot this too. Okay, okay, stop getting distracted. Ooh, interesting. Probably one of the smallest little, <laughs> another ocean monument. Probably one of the smallest mushroom biomes I've ever seen. But, also, not a bad idea. Another, ah oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool looking uh, background. But we may as well take another screenshot of the coordinates for this and keep flying home. Oh, I'm anticipating like 10 more of these. <laughs> oh, interesting, very interesting. It's not incredibly large, but it is a desert biome. And I don't even think this is the original one that I found, but we also have a mesa. Wonderful. Okay, so I happen to be just going a little bit to the left on my way back to check out where we are and about 4,000 blocks away. Uh, we can take a screenshot of this as well. <laughs> My screenshot folder is filling up very, very quickly. Beautiful. And honestly, the landscape with this update is incredible. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this beautiful gully going through cliff faces, jungle on the side, a river going through the middle, mountains around. Oh. <sighs> How does one decide where to build? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is actually also a really nice spot. I'm going to, believe it or not, screenshot this one as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Another ocean monument. And that's a familiar mountain. Beautiful. I was just going to get myself some jungle saplings. Damn, that looks good. All right, well, with uh, a little bit of exploring done, I feel like the best place to get a bunch of leaves chopped down, or trees for that matter, is a sparse jungle out this way. It's going to uh, keep them separated from, well, not this one in particular, but from most trees, 
and that way the wood's not going to keep the uh, the leaves up, and we should be able to get a few of them to uh, drop some saplings and hopefully get enough to continue chopping some down in our little area without running out again. If it became a serious problem, I would of course just make myself a fortune uh, hoe, and that way we up our chances of getting <laughs> more saplings from these leaves. I don't think that's quite necessary yet though. And just like that, we're starting to get a couple, or one at least. Hopefully I would like to get maybe 20, just to be safe, just to make sure. Then that way I can realize whether or not we're getting enough and make decisions based around how much I'm getting dropped. Hmm, an interesting oddity. We're going to leave that one because that is uh, not meant to be able to happen. But I don't think you get enough leaves from these small trees to really... Hello, <laughs> friends? That is the cutest little thing. Just two little flappy buddies. Three little flappy buddies. <laughs> Aww. Cute. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> As you can see, I've chopped down a bunch of them and I only have four saplings. We'll have a bit of a walk around and hopefully pick up some more. But, uh, yeah, it might, uh, it might require a bit of fortuning. More flappy buddies. <laughs> that is way too cute. Yeah. There we go. I feel like that means... Oh, they've disappeared. I feel like that means we're going to have to uh, bring a few bees back and some parrots with them. Keep the friends together. But with enough saplings for at least two of the larger trees, I'm going to go back to our little tree area. I'm going to drop... I'm going to put down four of these and see whether we can grow a large tree in the, uh, the space that I've made available. And if we can, I can come out here off camera and then continue to grab some saplings if I need to. <laughs> Let's go see our flappy buddies. Why are they following the bees? It's so interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that behavior. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. So down in here, we're going to put them in the middle. I can actually get rid of a few of those <laughs> jungle logs. And we'll put the uh, saplings away as well, just for safekeeping. And I went over to my skeleton spawner and grabbed a bunch of the bone blocks that I've made over the course of uh, gathering XP there. So we have plenty, as well as nearly another whole shulker over there worth of bone blocks for bone meal. I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about running out. But I will put most of those away and... There we go. Perfect. So, that's a decent sized tree. <laughs> it's squeezed itself up in here. And I should be able to go across, chop that down, and see whether we get at least four back after I've done so. And the answer to that is already yes. That's good. So it looks like <laughs> from here on out, we will be making only super large trees of the jungle variety. Also, got exactly 100 pieces of... Uh, of wood from that one which is kind of cool <laughs> but we may get one or two more if we're lucky if not we still managed to just come out on top and i would call that a success i kind of want to turn this into grass just because uh, it looks a bit weird being only dirt but other than that i'm pretty happy with this area <sighs> i know this episode took a little while to come out but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you like this little area that i've uh, come up with we're definitely going to do a few things to it to uh, tidy things up. We might raise the ceiling just above there, but square it up and make it look neater. We might carve out the side of there a little bit as well. All in all though, this should be a good spot for uh, coming back and mining trees <laughs> when we feel like we need some. I'm going to quickly uh, grow one more tree because I'll likely want one there for the thumbnail. <laughs> but with that I think we're going to end the episode here did a little bit of random exploring at the end there hopefully you guys didn't mind that but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode showing off this new little tree farm and I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, future episodes to come I'm feeling a lot better so hopefully I can uh, start to get back on schedule for putting out my episodes but until that next episode uh, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters, especially my level 3 supporters, Ness, Carl, Evan, Tessie, and Master Shifu. 
Thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. And thank you to all of the new Patreon supporters. You guys are incredible. With that being said, make sure you look after yourselves until the next episode or until I see you again. Could be on a stream, who knows? But either way, I hope you do so and I'll see you then. Take care, everyone. And uh, yeah, tree farm. <laughs> Bye-bye. Whoop. <laughs>